Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and once again, I am recording my Home Links tutorial video live in my classroom instead of using my uh, digital whiteboard app because uh, we're going to have to do some cutting and folding, and I thought it'd be best if I show you how to do it. Like I said, we are in our Home Links Unit 5, Lesson 12, which is found on page 153. And as you can see, I've gathered some supplies. I have a pair of sheets of paper. Uh, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and I will need use of either uh, my math template or a ruler, something that I can use to measure inches with. So I'm going to put uh, some of these aside for now, and I just need the paper to start with. It says, our class has been studying lines of symmetry, lines that divide figures into mirror images. Help your child look for symmetric shapes in books, newspapers, and magazines and in objects around the house, such as windows, furniture, dishes, and so on. And if you are watching this video uh, from home, and then you're going to come and attend school live in person the next day, it says, please bring your cutouts to school tomorrow. So just sandwich them in your home links or put them in your take-home folder, and remember to bring them back, okay? So it says, fold a sheet of paper in half. Okay, now I have this sheet of construction paper, but you could use notebook paper uh, or uh, just copy paper from your mom or dad's printer. I've got some construction paper, and what you've been asked to do is fold it in half, and I'm going to fold it hamburger fold style. Now, there's uh, two ways you can fold a rectangular piece of paper. You can fold it in half along the, uh, the center, uh, making two kind of smaller... Uh, but kind of wider uh, rectangles, or you can choose to fold a piece of paper, what we call hot dog style, because when you fold it with making a vertical line, it uh, kind of looks like a hot dog bun, right? So there's my hot dog bun, but I decided to fold mine hamburger style, okay? And now that I've folded the sheet in half, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just cut off one of the corners, okay? It says, Cut off a folded corner as shown. Before you unfold the cutoff piece, guess its shape. So I'm just going to cut a diagonal like about so. And then I'm going to discard or put aside my large piece of paper. I'm just going to think about my cutout here for a second. Okay, What is my shape going to be when I unfold it? Okay, Now if I analyze this shape here, I can see that one side of my shape is triangular. It's like a uh, right triangle. It's scalene because each of the sides are different in size. So if I unfold this uh, piece of paper, I'm probably going to see a larger triangle, right? And what do you know? When I do, that's what I get. I get a larger triangle, okay? And I'm just going to take a highlighter and I'm just going to uh, mark a line of symmetry here so it's easier to see on the camera. So I know now that I have a triangle. How many sides of the cutoff piece are the same length? This is where my ruler is going to come in handy, right? So I'm going to measure one side, okay, and it looks like just a little about a little over five inches, five and a quarter. Or I could measure it using uh, the metric side, and it's about 13 and a half centimeters. Okay? Now, if this side is 13 and a half centimeters, or a little over five inches, then this side is going to be the same distance because when they were folded over, they were cut from the same diagonal. So the real question is what's the measure of the base? Well, this too is pretty close to five inches but slightly less okay this side is slightly more than five inches so about five and an eighth five and three sixteenths this one is roughly four and seven eighths or if you wanted to measure the, the centimeters roughly 12 okay so how many sides of the cutoff piece are the same length well it would be two sides okay so if that mean if there are two sides that are the same length, that also means that we're going to have two angles that are the same measurement. Okay, so the uh, 
combined total of uh, the three angles within a triangle are going to add up to 180 degrees. And I know that if this angle right here is made from a length of, of uh, a line segment that's over five inches uh, and, and matches with this one here that is also a little less than five inches, this angle right here is also going to be the same measure. Okay, because again, these are mirror images of each other. So if I fold this in half, the corners of these uh, ends overlap without anything sticking out. So the angles are going to be the same. Okay, so two angles of the same length, two sides of the same length. Okay, so then the real question is, are there any other lines of symmetry? Now, if this were an equilateral triangle, I would be able to turn this... Uh, around about 120 degrees and I would be able to fold this in half with, down the center and have another pair of symmetrical sides but again as we measured this was slightly shorter the base than the other two sides so when I try to fold it in half this way well didn't quite work see I, I've got some overlap going on here so I've got a little bit of my left side peeking out, and it's not quite hitting the rest of my side here. So it doesn't quite work. It's close. It's pretty close, but no cigar. Okay. So, and again, just to test my theory, if I flip it around the other way, and I try to line up the edges when I fold. From this end, it looks like it's 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 symmetrical, but when I flip it over, I see that there's uh, some pieces lacking right here okay so there are no other lines of symmetry okay so the mystery has been solved okay this isosceles triangle because it has two sides that are the same length and two angles that are the same measure uh, does not have any more lines of symmetry other than the one we started with which is where we cut it off from this paper here okay so that's question number one I'm going to get you started on question number two, and then I'm going to have you do the rest of the questions here. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with paper, and I'm going to fold it in half. But this time, I'm going to be a little bit more uh, deliberate with my cutting. Okay, with this one, I just kind of cut a diagonal, I kind of eyeball it. This one here, you got to follow the instructions a little bit closer. It says, fold another sheet of paper in half, fold it in half again, like so. So now I've got four sections because I folded it twice. So if I unfold it for a moment, you can see that I have four parts. I'm going to fold it back together. So now what I have to do is I have to make a mark on both folded edges two inches from the folded corner. Okay, so again, I'm looking for folded edges. So this edge here, I can separate the paper, okay? This edge here, I can separate the papers. Here and here are folded edges, okay? Flip it over, the opposite's true. These are unfolded edges here and here. This is a fold, this is a fold, okay? So I've got my two folded edges. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure two inches from the folded corner right here, okay? So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna measure two inches. I'm just gonna mark it, my pencil, here. And I'm gonna do the same thing from this end. Okay, now that I've marked the two inch marks, I'm gonna take my ruler and then again, I'm gonna draw a diagonal connecting the two marks that I made that are two inches from the corner. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut. So again, I now have a piece that I've cut off of my larger piece of paper and I'm going to put aside this larger piece, okay? So now I'm going to answer the same types of questions I did for question number one, but I don't want to reveal anything. It says, unfold the cutoff piece, what shape is it in? So you need to make a prediction. What shape are you going to get once you unfold all these parts? It looks like you have a triangle in the folded aspect of this piece. What's it going to look like when you completely unfold it? 
And will there be any other lines of symmetry beside the fold lines? Okay. And then once you've done, uh, you're done unfolding it, it'll ask you to draw a picture of the cutoff shape on the back of this page paper and then draw all of its lines of symmetry. Now you could actually use the back side of the previous sheet if you uh, keep your home links all in the notebook. Uh, but if you don't, you can just, like they said, use the back of this sheet. These are designed to have scratch work paper provided. Okay, So you'll unfold it, you'll trace it or draw it, and then show all the lines of symmetry. And then you're going to bring in these pieces to school tomorrow so you can talk about them with your class if you are live in person tomorrow. If you're doing this from home and you're doing this virtually, you can just show your pieces to the camera itself. Okay. All right, then lastly, we have some practice problems dealing with division. And again, this is a, uh, this is a uh, preview or a hint of what's to come in unit six. We're going to be doing some division. Okay. So I'm just going to look at problem number three. 81 divided by something gives me an answer of nine. Well, when I think about fact families, I want to think about my fact triangle here. I know that some number times nine is going to give me 81. So that means that uh, 81 divided by 9 will give me my other factor. My missing factor here is what I need to put in this blank here. So I just need to think about this in terms of a multiplication problem. 9 times something equals 81. So what times 9 gives me 81? Well, that would be 9. 9 times 9 does. Okay. So that's my missing factor, or this is my divisor. Okay, When I'm dividing a number, which is called a dividend, by a certain number of groups, the, my divisor, my other factor in my multiplication problem becomes my answer, which is called a quotient. Okay, And again, this is all review because you know your multiplication facts for single-digit numbers. We're just trying to remind you that these will be important when it comes to division. Okay, Something to look forward to in Unit 6. Okay. Do you have questions about symmetry, geometry, the use of scissors? Uh, or uh, thinking about division just gives you the willies? Well, you know what to do. You need to talk to your math teacher. Okay. I am happy to provide all the knowledge I have on the subject, creating these videos for you, but I cannot predict the things that you might still have questions for. So you need a real life person to talk to, and I bet you have one in your corner. So talk to your math teacher. Okay. Well, I hope this video was informative to you, helped you out in getting your uh, home links completed. Uh, until we meet again, friends, good luck and have a good day. Thanks.